Huntech Pro is proudly brought to you by Treason Magnum Archery Orpen Weapons Wild Dog 4x4 Accessories Oberhalzer Taxidermy Ultimo Group and Gun Rats The Huntech Pro team continues this episode at Kalahari Kaya Safaris. So far it has been an unforgettable experience with Jacus and his team. Hey. Kalahari Kaya Safaris is situated near Peak Plessy in the northwest province of South Africa. Kalahari Kaya Safaris has a homey atmosphere without compromising on comfort and luxury. The lodge is family friendly and can accommodate up to 24 people. Kalahari Kaya Safaris is home to over 24 different species that are huntable on foot or out of blinds. Out of those 24 species, four of the big five roam on the property. On my fourth day of uh, our trip, I had the opportunity to take my bow. I went and sat in a hide, and I was waiting to see what the bull should give me. A nice water bull came in. Didn't present a shot initially. He walked away and he just started grazing a bit in the distance. One good thing with uh, bow hunting is you must know your equipment, know your arrow setup. And I was confident in my setup and my arrow weight and my broadhead that I used. The pin settled and I released the arrow. With the water gear in uh, South Africa, they are one of the species that uh, string jump uh, bow hunting. So he did spring jump a bit, but nevertheless, it was still a, a, a perfect shot. I watched the water in the, my binoculars. It did look like that I possibly hit a hard bone, as uh, arrows and broadheads aren't made to break bones. as. They do break bones, but they're not made as uh, bullets are. So it looks like I deflected and then I clipped the spine. Uh, oh, it's my water ball. Uh, that's why he dropped in his tracks. But uh, it's also definitely top heart, uh, possibly also a uh, lung shot. Uh, he expired quite quickly, and um, here we are. 
tugboat. As you guys can see, it's got a nice working of uh, main task, it's bottom task, and top one is the same uh, length. Also, uh, he's got some good battle scores. This guy is definitely going to weigh very well. photos now and uh, stay tuned and see let, let's see what happens next Jacus and the team treated the Huntech team to a unique bush bride where the guests were surrounded by the raw, untouched beauty that only the Kalahari can offer. Everybody enjoyed a relaxing afternoon lunch and indulged in traditional African cuisine under a camel thorn tree. With the African sun breaking through the leaves, Huntech Pro is proudly sponsored by Trigger Cap, No Scent, Caliber Rifles, Bullets and Innovations, Low Tech Energy, Grizzly Gear, SSG Cases, Now Shoot, CRC Clothing and Branding, and Vantage Point Archery. Huntech Pro's proud media partners are Game and Hunt Magazine and Arms and Wildlife. Get any and all of your Wild Dog 4x4 products today. Visit www.wilddog.co.za and become part of the pack. Oberholzer Taxidermy strives to portray your hunting trophies in as realistic a state as possible. We give you a trophy that you aren't simply proud of or would like to add to your collection but also your very own prized piece of Africa along with fond memories of our land. Hunting is an incredibly rewarding sport. Complement your prize with professional taxidermy services at Oberholzer Taxidermy. A deer's nose is 1,000 times more powerful than the human nose. That means he will smell you way before you ever see him. No Scent is a three-phase scent elimination system that destroys 100% of human odor. Our revolutionary enzyme formula works by fully encapsulating and by attacking and eliminating human odor particles. Our No Scent laundry pods, hair and body wash, and field spray will take 100% of the stink out of you. No Scent. Hunt undetected. Kalahari Kaya Safaris has such an abundance of animals, that it is possible for a hunter to harvest a beautiful trophy around the next corner.
I heard that Antec have the opportunity to hunt the uh, Gibbs buck here in the Kalahari, so I jumped on board. It's one of the top bucket list items that I wanted to hunt. So me and Dante walked down, we did a walk and stalk on the animal. Right, this is a nice Gibbs buck. It's about 200 meters high. So, trying to walk and stalk it there. Yeah, this perfect. So, what I'm gonna ask him to do is put it on the shoulder and hopefully walk it Uh, it was about 100 and something yards away and then eventually we saw the blaze box next to them. They started to run and uh, the games box turned around and I took my shot. Three days. <laughs> Three days talking. Yeah, let's go and see what we have. Let's check. Uh, the short placement was out of this world. We took him just a few steps and he was down. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, it's been three days. What a privilege, what a privilege. Magnificent animal, beautiful quality, big horns. I was really impressed with the size of the animals you had, Kalahari, Kaya, Safaris, um, beautiful, beautiful animals. It's always been very on top of my list of uh, species to hunt. Johan and I have had uh, numerous conversations. He's always asked us, like, 
buddy, what is your top animal that you'd love to harvest? I said, without a doubt, it's an Elan bull. And now finally I had the opportunity. It took us about two days of the whole time. Spot, stalk, spot, stalk. The animals are very clever. Finally, I got my opportunity. After we spotted a nice big bull in the distance, we started with the stalk. Dante, my pH uh, for the day, he put out the shooting sticks. I took aim. I started getting buck fever, like major, because that opportunity finally arose of me to finally harvest that yellow bull that I always wanted. It's in, it fell in uh, sight distance, didn't even have to take a blood trail and of course naturally I didn't uh, doubt my uh, shot placement at all. This is totally amazing. I can't believe how big these antelope are. We slowly started moving forward and then in the distance wasn't too far where the Elan ran. We found him, he had already expired. Good shooting, buddy. Hey, congrats again. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you again. Congratulations. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. I should just get the rifle. It is safe. Phew. 
the Z weighs, I would say a ton, but it's not really a ton, but wow. Yeah, the skin is amazing. And these hooves, yeah, they're gigantic. Almost starting with the as you know, uh, the cafe. It's uh, not that much of a bush on its forehead, but it's got it quite nicely. And uh, as well, a nice dew lap. Magnum Archery. Your partner in tournaments, hunting and anything to do with a bow and arrow. We offer a bespoke string building experience and can service any brand of bow there. We are here to supply you with all your archery needs and keep you up to date with the latest technologies and trends. Bow hunting and target archery. This is our game. At Orpen Weapons, we have a dedicated team of professionals that are extremely passionate about firearms. We specialize in custom rifle building, accurizing, customization, repair and general sales of firearms and their related accessories. Each firearm receives our signature attention to detail, met with unique insight gathered through more than 50 years experience as gunsmiths. We look forward to assist you in your firearm needs. It is funny how you can wake up early in the morning and be ready to go hunt, but it is such a struggle to get out of bed when you are home. The team enjoyed a hot cup of coffee in the cool winter air while waiting for a hearty breakfast to be served. Johan from Huntic Pro and Jakus, the owner of Kalahari Kaya Safaris, had a little chat amongst themselves and they came to me with the offer of a sable. And uh, it just blew my mind. That's something that I never thought I would be able to do. And uh, right here was the opportunity in the Kalahari to get a, a sable hunt. So uh, I started out very jittery the morning because I was quite nervous about this hunt. Uh, but Dante, our PH, quickly 
I found a couple of the sables in the field, settled me down, and we started stalking. There was one specific bull that we had in mind, so we had to get it separate from the, the rest of the, the troop. And uh, we did. We got it on its own, started stalking, and then a couple of times we almost lost it in the, the tall grass again, eventually just getting it in sight again, getting close enough to get a, a safe, proper shot. What a shot! What a shot! That was unbelievable. Congrats! It just it's, went down. It's been like boom, a sack down. of potatoes. Shot! <laughs> you are the first lion that shot one sable with one bullet right there, then, then, dead. That's unbelievable. It's uh, like I'm on, <laughs> on clouds right now. But still, congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's you go brought now. me here. Let's go and have a look. When I had the chance, I lined up the shot with a Johan Trusty 9.3 and the sable went down on the first shot. And immediately that relief struck me and uh, then the excitement started hitting. Got it, got it. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you so much. And a beautiful animal. And uh, when I got there and saw that, that beautiful animal, I uh, almost couldn't believe it. I think it still hasn't prob probably suck, sunk in yet, so uh, I'm still processing the whole whole trip. But that was uh, a moment that you'll never forget. Something that I'm truly appreciative of. Um, I also had the opportunity to hunt the blessed buck that I've been looking for for uh, at least three days. Me and Yakus uh, went down, walked and stalked the animal. The impala were looking at us, um, so we had to do it against the wind and walk around and check out for the impalas as well because as soon as they saw us, they start to run.
Eventually, I had a nice broad shot, took the shot. Um, yeah, it was an awesome shot. Not a um, trophy animal, but a good meat animal. And it took about 50 meters for it to expire. Um, very well placed shot. You know, hunting in the Kalahari area, uh, I thought that I would like to shoot the animals that, that are known to be from this area. Jacques told me that one of the animals that I can go look for is a red hot beast bull. So in the afternoon, me and Dante, we went out to the certain area where he normally saw the red hot beast in. I took my 9.3 with and I was really excited to see if we can get a nice bull. Dante spotted a nice red Arby's bull and we slowly made our way forward. We put the sticks out and I got ready. Yo, for these tracks. Yeah, my man. Congratulations! Dante, thanks man. You know, red otter bees are also from your region. It's so awesome to hunt this animal here with you guys. Yes, oh, I appreciate it, but congrats again to you. Thank you and thank you for guiding me in this way, you know. It's so awesome to see how you guys do the pH work here in the Kalahari, you know. Because we are from Limpopo and we... Different, different experience. Different and experience stuff. and it's so great to, to hunt with you. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. thank pleasure. You. It's good to go. There was some brush in front of us, but because we were shooting with my 9,3, I knew I could take the shot through that brush. I lined up my shot on this opposite, opposite shoulder and I took the shot. The red Arby's fell in his tracks and I was super, super thankful that I was the one that was able to harvest this red Arby's. Yeah. 
very nice bull. Oh. Very nice character on the horns. Mature bull, eh? For sure. Yo. My shot was a little bit high on the, on the shoulder, but, but yeah, it worked out. The 9,3, just an awesome caliber. That always helps me out if I put, don't put in the perfect shot. <laughs> Beautiful animal. The red artifice bull had very thick bases, did great mass on his horns, and the, the tips played open wide. So Yakas, just thanks again for giving me the opportunity to harvest an animal like this. Again, this is once again an animal of a lifetime. Jakas and his team went above and beyond to make this an unforgettable experience. To watch Huntex episodes or to find out more about their sponsors and destinations visit their website and follow them on their social platforms to stay up to date.